Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Axiom SpaceX AX2 mission details released. Also, Prescott's Golden Eagles flight team wins 13th national championship. And a 12th year of live coverage of the AEA convention starts on June 22nd. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We got a packed episode filled with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with Axiom Space's AX2 mission details released. Axiom Space has named the commander and pilot of its second commercial mission proposed to fly to the International Space Station and announced the proposed cruise's intended research while on orbit. Axiom will compete to fly the AX-2 mission when NASA announces the next private astronaut mission opportunity. If awarded, AX-2 will further cement the research opportunities possible for private industry in low Earth orbit. Peggy Whitson, who during a 22-year career at NASA became the ISS first female commander, the first ISS science officer, and set and still holds the American record for time spent in space, will return to flight as a private citizen and commander of AX-2. Alongside her as the planned mission pilot will be John Schaffner, a pilot, champion GT racer, and active supporter of life science research from Knoxville, Tennessee. Whitson and Schaffner will train together in Axiom Standard Astronaut Program to prepare them to lead the flight. In addition to their flight training, they will learn how to translate terrestrial single-cell genomic methods to an orbital science process in collaboration with Pleasanton, California-based 10X Genomics. After the break, if you have tickets for the U.S. Vintage Aerobatic Championship, well, the show was canceled. I'll tell you why after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. U.S. Vintage Aerobatic Championship was cancelled. The U.S. Vintage Aerobatics Championship to be held at Antique Airfield should have been a really good time and was planned for June 25th and 26th, but thanks to issues with the FAA, that event is now cancelled. AAA boss Brent Taylor has posted the following. After a long day yesterday on the phone, emailing, messaging, and talking with many people involved in helping us with our plan to host the U.S. Vintage Aerobatic Championship, I have decided to cancel the event. To give you a reason as to why, it is the problem of obtaining the necessary waiver for an aerobatic box from the FAA. OneWeb reports successful launch. OneWeb has confirmed the latest successful launch of 36 satellites by Arian Space from the Vostokny Cosmodrome. Liftoff occurred on May 28th. OneWeb satellites separated from the rocket and were dispensed 
in nine batches over a period of three hours and 52 minutes, with signal acquisition on all 36 satellites confirmed. The latest successful launch brings OneWeb's total in-orbit constellation to 218 satellites, though the SpaceX program has confirmed over 1,300. These may eventually form part of OneWeb's 648 LEO satellite fleet that will deliver high-speed, low-latency global connectivity. Masks are no longer required for fully vaxxed at National Museum USAF. In support of updated Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines, fully vaccinated visitors will no longer be required to wear masks when visiting the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Those who are not fully vaccinated must continue to wear masks inside the museum. Visitors will not be asked by museum officials to prove their vaccination status, and those who wish to continue wearing masks may still do so. Flying Legends Air Show cancelled for this year. One of the world's greatest classic and war bird flying events has fallen due to ongoing concerns about the COVID-19 infection. The Flying Legends Air Show and Skywheel Aerodrome was scheduled for July 10th and 11th, but has been cancelled by the organizers. Director Nick Gray announced the bad news over the weekend in light of yesterday's message from our Prime Minister and the uncertainty surrounding the UK opening fully for business, it is with deep regret and a heavy heart that we must cancel this year's event. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Prescott's Golden Eagles flight team wins 13th national championship. Apparently, one of the first things you see when driving into Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's Prescott campus is a series of 12 prominent signs. One, for every year the campus's Golden Eagles flight team has won the NEFA SAFECOM National Championship. Following the results of the 2021 competition announced on May 22nd, it's time to add number 13. NEFA SAFECOM is to collegiate aviation what the Super Bowl is to the NFL, or the Stanley Cup is to NHL. 28 teams from universities across the country competed this year in a variety of events, including aircraft pre-flight inspection, aircraft navigation, aircraft recognition, computer accuracy, ground trainer, and others. In addition to the team's national championship, the Golden Eagles won 35 consecutive regional championships. I have been a member of the team since 2016, and in my time here, I have never seen the team work harder than they did this year, said team captain Colin Hoseyoung. The COVID-19 pandemic posed the biggest challenge to the team this year, affecting practice schedules, protocols, and procedures. Additionally, competition normally held in person by one of the competing universities took place virtually. After these messages, mark your calendars. The 12th year of live coverage of the AEA convention starts soon. Details after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. The 12th year of live coverage of AEA convention starts on June 22nd. 
The Aero News Network, in an exciting 12-year-long partnership with AEA, is pleased to announce the schedule for this year's programming for the 2021 AEA Convention and Trade Show to be held on June 22nd until the 25th. It will be our record-setting 12th year live online programming initiative. Primary live coverage starts Monday, June 22nd with the webcasting of AEA's new product introduction series in which nearly 40 avionics innovators will reveal new products and programming for a live audience. Show coverage commences at 8.30 Central Time and concludes at 12. See it live at the website you see on your screen. Opening sessions and new product introductions starts from 8.30 to 12 on Monday, June 22nd, Live interviews from the convention floor on Tuesday, June 23rd, with more than three hours of live interviews. On Wednesday, the second live interview program will commence at noon. We have inside information that confirms that a lot of exciting avionics news will be made in just a few days. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.